Christy Simpson, and today's question is, why is it important to have a children's choir? Well, I'm very glad you asked this. This is such an important thing. And I think in recent times, or at least in the last decade, some churches have gotten away from having a children's choir. Either people didn't want to lead it, or they didn't want to do musicals, or the kids were too busy, things like that. But having a children's choir is so important. Um, kids love to sing. Right? And we need to start them singing young if we want people to be singing in church ever later. We have to be singing, right? Kids like to sing and perform anyways. So if they're not going to sing at church, um, you know, the people that really want to are going to go do it in the community or they're going to sing at school or they're do things like that. But why wouldn't we want them singing in the church? Why wouldn't we want them leading worship? Why wouldn't we want them singing songs, uh, scripture songs, songs of their faith, you know, every month in church, just doing special songs or doing musicals, things that teach them by music, the universal language about the Lord. So it's just a huge loss to not have a children's choir. And I do understand that sometimes people don't want to lead the children's choir. So we need to train up our volunteers so that they're not so scared of leading a children's choir, right? children's choir is the basis if we have children that don't sing then you're gonna have teenagers that don't sing which means your adult choir you won't have an adult choir because nobody will sing anymore and that also means your churches won't sing in worship we need to be fostering singing people by teaching them to sing young teaching them to love music letting them bring their friends to church to sing in groups rather than going out to sing in community groups bring them to church everybody can sing in church um, at our church, we haven't really so much had a youth choir, so I usually keep my kids' choir all the way up to 8th grade, but we also start our adult choir at 7th grade. So that has been a really powerful thing we've done for about, I don't know, 6, 7 years, maybe even longer, maybe even 10 years, where as soon as kids get out of that kid elementary, they come into the adult choir and the body learns together. So you've got a 7th grader singing alongside a 70-year-old alongside a 40-year-old. And that's really what the body of Christ is. It teaches the young child to sing better. It teaches the older person to be youthful. And it really makes us all one. Uh, so I think that's a really powerful example. Like if you start them young, you can bring them into your adult choir even earlier than you might be doing it now, or have them in your youth choir. And then you have all stages of singing, um, training up the body of Christ, training up the church so that music doesn't fall away. Keep those questions coming. Can't wait to talk to you next time.